Dear Xiaomi, issues and people are going to bring you down. They're going to make you feel terrible about yourself, your race, your gender, your sexuality, your social economic status, and your history. You think this is going to be the only life possible for you because it's been happening for a long time, but you're going to go to college, you're going to get involved with campus life, you're going to be involved with social activism, with community engagement, you're going to be a student leader, and you're going to go through some serious shit. Do you remember your sophomore year in high school? Do you remember those guys you had a thing with? Do you remember what they did to you? Yeah. Remember how everyone told you that you started it? That was your fault that you did that to yourself? You're only 15. You think you'll forget about it, but it'll come back to you four years later. And you're gonna get the worst nightmares. And these nightmares will be the norm for you. But trust yourself. Even if no one believes you, even if you don't believe yourself, you know you're different. You don't only like guys, you also like girls. Girls are so beautiful. So address that part yourself and stop denying it. When you stop denying everything, college will be easier. You're strong, you're a warrior, keep fighting, but things are gonna be very difficult because you're gonna be depressed and you're gonna be alone, really depressed. You're gonna hate yourself and you're gonna hurt yourself. The feeling of liberation as the blood trickles down is not freedom. Drinking to numb your thoughts is not freedom. Not sleeping or eating to deny life is not freedom. Reach out, reach out for help there will be people around you. There will be a point in your life where it's hard to separate reality from your thoughts. But it's okay. Life happens because life happens. It's okay to reach out for help. It's okay to admit that you're not strong and that you have weak points too. But you're a warrior and College will get easier when you realize you're, you have a community around you. So don't quit college and don't quit life. You think you won't find anyone like you out there, but you will. During your freshman year in college, you'll find someone just like you. And she'll ask you, what's your story? I want to hear it. I'll take you a year and a half to answer her. As a first generation college student with refugee parents, it's going to be very difficult. Money will be difficult, going to classes will be difficult. And as a queer woman of color going to depression, it's going to be very difficult. But Know your roots. Don't deny your past because it was difficult. It is part of you. So, no history, no self. No history, no self. Find your story.